So welcome to the fourth video in the Phone Gap and Ratchet series. In this video we're going to be looking at tab bars uh, which go along the bottom of our app and you'll see them a lot on iOS, uh, not so common on Android because of some gui uh, design guidelines which I'll go over in a moment. But uh, basically these are bars along the bottom, I'm sure you'll see them, uh, where they have sort of buttons which sort of tab you across through the separate screens. You'll see what I mean when we uh, when we get into coding it. So what you want to do is go into your code and if you already have it, you'll want to get rid of the footer uh, purely because we're going to replace the footer with this tab bar. So what you want to do is create a div with a class equal to uh, again of course bar which gives us the standard bar styling and then bar dash tab. And before we use bar dash standard but now we want bar dash tab because that's the type of bar we're using. Uh, bar dash standard is just sort of a, uh, a blank bar which we used in the uh, footer before. So inside of here what we can do is create an A, uh, an anchor, so the A tag with a class of tab dash item and just like that then inside of here we're going to put a span with a class of tab dash label and obviously inside here we can put the text so I'll put home and while we're at it, that's my phone vibrating, uh, while we're at it We'll add a couple more here, um, and inside here we'll put a uh, profile maybe, i just think of some random items that we can put in here. Profile, options, actually we'll save options for the end, add and uh, options. So we'll have home, profile, add, maybe this could be adding a post or whatever, and options. So just save this and refresh it and what you'll see here now is that we've now got a tab bar along the bottom with the uh, sort of buttons you'll probably see what I mean by now uh, about these buttons so you've probably seen them if you use an iOS device before uh, but when you see them you probably see them with an icon attached to them so that's what we're gonna do now so head back into your code and uh, in the tab bar uh, just above each of these spans what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another span with a class equal to icon and then icon dash home in this case or you can use whatever icons you want these are just some examples and then close off that span and then we'll save this and check it's all working and then you can see the home icon there and the text has automatically gone smaller we'll also add uh, icons for each of the other ones uh, if you're going to use one icon you may as well use all of them having icons it will just make it will just uh, make better sense in terms of design profile and then here I believe add is an icon and also gear for the options thing. So go ahead and refresh it and profile and add aren't icons. Uh, sorry, this is actually plus and profile is actually person. So uh, my mistake there. So hopefully if we refresh it now, yeah, we've got the two icons working properly. And you can see as I click these, they all go blue to show they've been clicked. Uh, something else we can do is also set the one that is active by default. So maybe the page that you're currently on or something. So again, this is kind of like bootstrap, so we can just put active here and yep, and refresh that. And the home is by default active. Uh, obviously, if we were to use these as proper links, we need to put our href equals and I'll just put hash. But yeah, when you do proper links, you'll have proper files to put here. So I'm gonna leave this video here. Um, as before, obviously you can just push it to uh, phone gap if you want to test it on your mobile device um, Obviously, I don't want to keep showing you that because it will get boring and repetitive But yeah, it just refers back to a previous story if you want to see how to do that So that's it for this video. Don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video